What happens when you carbonize snack cakes? That's what we're gonna find out today on Carbonize This. We've got marshmallow pies, star crunch, Swiss rolls, Twinkies, and Nutty Buddies. We've got pretzels in there for another video and I'm gonna load the snack cakes on top. Time to seal the inner barrel. Next up is to load the wood between the two barrels. We got the wood loaded up to the top and now it's time to light it. Fire's going good. We're gonna go ahead and put the chimney on, let it run for several hours, and then we'll check it out in the morning. It's time to check out the snack cakes. Take the chimney off. And we'll take the inner barrel out. Oh, those turned out pretty cool, especially the uh, Swiss cake rolls. Let's go look at it at the table. For the most part, all of these really held their shape well. We're gonna look at each one of these individually and then crush them up at the end. The Swiss cake rolls, the icing on the inside just disappeared. For the Twinkies, it oozed out onto the tray and then carbonized. The Nutty Buddy stayed the same. And then the marshmallow pie is very interesting. You can see the different layers, the cookie, the marshmallow, and there's lots of different colors in here. There's this kind of shiny gray and dull gray and then the flat black of the cookie. Here's the star crunch and the texture just stayed the same and it looks like a lot of that sugar just kind of melted out the bottom of it. We'll grab some of these Swiss cake rolls here. We'll just break this one up. These all just kind of stayed together after they carbonized. I'm gonna see if I can take some of this star crunch away from the marshmallow pie. You can see the texture from the rice that's in it and then little flakes of like a silver color, almost looks like mica or glitter. So now I'm gonna crush this up. Here's the marshmallow pie. So there's a little bit of the uh, cookie that's on the inside of it, and then this is all marshmallow fluff. Let's look at this half of the marshmallow pie. Okay, they're connected. I'm gonna break this off right here. There we go. What's cool with this piece is you can really see the cookie here, and then this is the marshmallow that oozed out. This stayed like a flat black, while the marshmallow turned like a silvery color and, and is very glossy. The rest of the marshmallow pie, so here's the top cookie once again, and you can see the holes that are in it. And then this is where the marshmallow squeezed out. Let's flip it over. Looks like a little bit of the cookie there. Yeah, so you can see the layers here. You got cookie, marshmallow, cookie. I'm gonna try to break these two layers apart, uh, but they probably fuse together with the marshmallow. Uh, you can get a little bit apart. The cookie is nice and porous right there also. Time to break the marshmallow pie up. Time for the Nutty Buddies. You can see that the wafer on top maintained its shape. Bottom also retained its shape. The sugary filling on the inside oozed out here and that's where you see this glossy color. We're gonna take this small piece off and we're gonna try to break these in half and see if we can see the layers. Can't really make them out but you can see the sugar here, the little shiny parts. Oh, here's a good shot of the layers. Let's see if we can get that top layer off. Yeah, you can actually pull this one apart a little bit. Now let's break these up. 
Oh, it turned into a powder. On these two parts of the Twinkie, you can see where the cream came out the side, but this one, the cream looks like it came out the holes in the bottom of the Twinkie. Yeah, you can see where the holes were on the bottom of the Twinkie. The Twinkie's falling apart, so we're gonna move them over to the table. Here's the Twinkie we cut in half ahead of time. You can see the cake layer here and then where the frosting oozed out. So we're gonna crush these two. We've got the whole Twinkie right here, but it's kind of falling apart. Oh, and you can see the inside of it as well. And now we'll break this piece up. So that's what happens when you carbonize snack cakes. Let me know what your favorite snack is in the comments below or an item that you want us to carbonize. We'll see you next time.